Hello, Jen here with a layout for the Wild Whisper Design Team. I'm pulling out my traveler's notebooks because I'd really, really like to use this fur babies collection and I need to find some cat pictures. Uh, so this is my April traveler's notebook. It's a little bit bare, so I have to remember to use it. I'm, I've been really good about printing my photos and cutting them out and putting them, sort of slipping them into the pages as you saw when I was flipping through but I have to actually take the time and scrap them <laughs> once that's done. So um, I had these three photos in my April Traveler's Notebook of my cat Salem, and he's just in his cozy spot on the back of our couch taking his cat nap. And that one there, that bigger one, is of him snuggling up with me. Ever since we lost our sweet little Evie, he's been... Um, well, he's always been super cuddly, but he's been, I think he's a little bit lonely and doesn't have anyone to cuddle with. So now he is all over you. As soon as you sit down on the Chesterfield, he's like, I need to cuddle. And he will, will literally jump right up on your lap and snuggle with you. So um, I just snapped these three photos. They're three different days and I don't really have a specific story to tell about them, but I wanted to include them just because he's so cute. <laughs> so I pulled out the Fur Babies collection from Wild Whisper, and I absolutely love, love this collection. It's really adorable. The colors are so fun. I know I say that with every one of their collections, but I really do love how unique this color combination is. There's burgundy and black and purple and uh, blue, gray, and that really kind of, I don't know, it's not yellow, but it's not lime green. It's something kind of in between. Everything complements each other really well and contrasts with each other really well. And yeah, I just love the, the uniqueness of it. And I also love that this collection works for both cats and dogs. So one side of the papers will have a lot of cat themes to it and then the opposite side of the papers will have a lot uh, more of the doggy themed stuff so cat paw prints versus dog paw prints um on the there's a similar page to that burgundy one that i used that you saw that has little cats on it there's a doggy version of that in purple so it's just really nice and versatile. If you only have cats, you can definitely use this collection and be able to use all of the papers. And if you only have dogs, same thing goes. You'll be able to use every single one of these papers to scrap whichever of the four-legged furry animals you have. So it's definitely a collection that is worth getting. And the other thing that I absolutely love about this collection is that because Heather and Susie are huge animal lovers, they decided that a portion of all of the proceeds from the sales of fur babies will be donated to three local shelters here in our area. So I, I love that, of course, because I live in the same area as them. So it's shelters that, that I know and love, and it's a place where we will be going to get our next puppy. Um, but I also just love that they've given given you the opportunity to give back so you get this really fun uh collection that you were going to love and also have the opportunity to give back to some other furry friends so i think that's really sweet so on to the layout itself <laughs> you can see there i matted those photos so the burgundy is really nice i just wanted to have um something around the edge of the photos because of course Salem is a black cat and so the pictures are super dark and you, there's nothing that you can do about that he's he's a black cat uh, and our Chesterfield is also, also black so black on black so it needed a little bit of color um, so I used the burgundy and then I also used that stripe paper because that brings in those little pops of contrast like that fun yellowy green color. So I have um, the striped paper matting 
two of the photos and also that little square that I cut out from the cut apart sheet and that says live love meow and I also fussy cut that giant ball of yarn and that other burgundy cat and I'm really trying and I think I'm doing a pretty good job of keeping my traveler's notebooks nice and flat so all of the elements that I'm trying to add um, are stickers or things that I'm fussy cutting from the papers and that way I'm not creating too much bulk in this um, in this journal in the traveler's notebook oh my goodness I'm stumbling on my words sorry um, it's just it's not gonna get too bulky I mean it will be bulky don't don't get me wrong you should see my March traveler's notebook um, but I'm I'm making sure that I'm not adding extra bulk that doesn't need to be there so I pulled out some stickers and those are from the I am collection and really what caught my eye about these is the purple um, and that the pink isn't really the same pink but the one sticker that I do use it's close enough that it kind of has that same feel as the burgundy so I think it works okay and I was hoping that that collection would have a few little sentiments that said something like lazy days or uh, I don't know something about napping or taking it easy uh, and then I remembered that I still have some little phrase stickers from seven paper I can't remember if I got that directly from studio calico or if I got it from Nina Brooks but uh, I have the cat themed ones and I have the dog themed ones so I pulled out the cat themed ones and I found one that says catnap and the other one says I love my cat and those work really well because they have some gold and so they work with that washi tape that I used for the top and the bottom so it just pulls a little bit more gold into the layout and then I knew I wanted to use some of those cork hearts those are from Speedle Mom Scraps she doesn't carry them anymore so I am hoarding them because as soon as I use them up they are all gone and I love them they're perfect for travelers notebooks because they are so thin that they're basically like a paper embellishment but you get that really cool texture of the cork I also fussy cut three more little cats in that lighter burgundy color and that's from the same paper that I used to map my photos and so I was able to put those around in the little clusters too I think they're so cute and because they're in all different directions on the page I found three that were um, different three different little cats but they all nestle nicely into spots on the layout so to finish it up I added my title which says I love cat naps those are just some simple stories alphas in a nice gray color very neutral and that is it that's my layout it was really really simple really quick the collection is so cute and so much fun you really want to go out and get it I will leave the links for Wild Whisper down below so be sure to check them out and use my discount code DTGen for 10% off thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and until next time happy scrapping bye